In this video, I will show you how to transfer and set up a, web, a WordPress website from a hosting server to another hosting server. This might be useful to you if you sold a WordPress website to another buyer and you want to help them to set up the WordPress website at their hosting server. Or sometimes you, you buy a WordPress website from a seller and you want to get the WordPress file from the seller and set up the website at your own server. To do that, you just need to follow these six simple steps. I will go through the step one by one and I will show you an example of uh, setting out uh, and transfer a WordPress website. So I will use the same example. This is a test website, socialmediabargain.com. So I will transfer this website from my current uh, domain uh, web hosting, the host gator, to another hosting account. Let me call this a hosting account B. So I will transfer this website from host gator to another hosting account, different hosting server. So let's go back to the step again. The step number one actually is to download and zip the WordPress file and download the WP config files. So I just go to my cPanel, my current uh, host gator cPanel. I just log into my cPanel. Look for a session called files. Click on files manager and go to the document route for the website that you want to zip the files. So for this case, it's socialmediabargain.com. Click go. Again, double check to confirm that the domain name is correct. If everything is correct, then I just click select all. So I select all the files inside these uh, folders. And I click the compress button. Compress. So I just click the format zip archive. Just give it a name, social website files, and compress. It just take uh, around one minute to compress the file. Okay, so the file are already successfully compressed. So all the file already zip. So just close. I just uh, reload again to make sure the file is there. Yes, the file already zip here. So I need to download this uh, website files to my local desktop. Just highlight the files. As I mentioned in the, this uh, step, you need to download the website files and also the WP config files. So I just go back to the cPanel. I highlight the website files and also the, the WP config file. Just click download. Click OK. I'll just save it. Okay, so it looks like the two files are already successful download. I just go to the verify. I open the file. Okay, so this is the two files the website GIF file and also the WP config file. The reason we need the WP config file is because we need to check what's the WordPress database name. We will proceed to step number two. Step number two is to export the WordPress database. So I will go back to the cPanel again. Go back to cPanel, scroll down, and look for a section called database. And look for a shortcut called PHP My Admin. So click on this PHP My Admin. So you will have all your database letters, uh, listed here on the left hand side. So how can you know which database belong to your website socialmediabargain.com? To, to check that, you go back to the WP config file just now you download. Open the WP config file. Scroll down. Look for a section called DB name. So the database name for this website is actually called donor underscore ESME1. 
So I go back to cPanel, my PHP admin. A, this is the one. I click on donor underscore ASME1. Okay. To export the database, just select check all. Click on export button. So click on custom. Make sure all is selected. And check this checkbox. Add drop table. And click go. And save the database file. The database file are already successful save. I'll just go back to the folder and verify again. Okay, this file. This is a database file just now I saved. We will then proceed to step number three. Step one and step two, you do all the process at the original the hosting server. So the step number three, we will proceed to the new hosting server and create a new add-on domain. So let's go back to the browser. This is my new hosting account. I log into the cPanel. In this new uh, hosting account, I will add in a new domain, add on domain. So this is a domain name. I'll just copy, put here. Okay, just, just type in the password. And click at domain. Okay, so domain name already added. Go back to the cPanel. Let's go back to the step again. You already create a domain name. We go to step number four. You need to upload the WordPress GIF file to this new hosting server and extract the files. I go back to the cPanel. So we will go to the file section. Go to file manager. Select the new add-on domain you just add in. This is the new uh, domain name. We go okay so make sure that the folder again make sure the folder is correct you can see now the this folder is empty I just click the upload browse for the website gif file just now you download the website gif file Okay, upload it. Okay, so the file already successfully upload and already complete. Let's go back to the file managers again. Click on the reload button. You can see the file is now here. So just select and click on the extract button to extract the file here. Make sure the folder is correct again. Extract the files. So all the files already extracted here. Close. Reload again. You can see all the files now here. So you have now successfully uploaded all the WordPress website file to your new hosting server. You have completed step number four. Step number five is to create a new database file and upload the database file to your new hosting server. So we go back to the cPanel again. This is the new hosting server C to create a new database. You scroll down, go to database, my SQL database, click on this, and put in the database name. So I will just put in the database name, create database. 
make sure you copy down the database name you will need the information later I just copy go back and create a new database user scroll down add a new user I would prefer use a password generator for the password click on the password generator select the password copy down the password and put here again go back to the C panel click this checkbox I have copied this password and use the password so the password will be automatically populated here and click create user so now the user ID and password are already created so I copy down the user ID again copy user ID make sure you clip the user ID database user back to cPanel and go back to the MySQL database step is to grant the access for the user to the database so this is the user I just created and this is the database I just created so I will add this user to the database click on the add button make sure you select this checkbox all privilege to give the access to this user ID and make changes that's all for creating the database go back to the cPanel again now you need to upload the database file that previously you download from your original hostgator servers so let's go to cPanel database click on PHP my admin select of the database name just now I just created you can see here database name is uh, A12345 so you can see A12345 make sure you highlight this A12345 you can see everything is empty you need to upload the WordPress database file to upload or we call import you just click the import button browse for the file just now you download the database file from the old hosting server double click scroll down click the go button take a few seconds for the database file to be uploaded ok import have been successfully finished so now you can see all the database already created just click on database name again you can see all the tables here there's one important changes you need to do, to do the changes you need, just need to double check see whether there is any other uh, names username tied to the old hosting account so to do that just click on the search button click that public h underscore html public underscore html select all click go you can see there's one publish underscore html at this table click on the browse button scroll down and look at the record and click on the edit button so this is a very important step so you can see the data here slash home slash donor slash publish html this slash donor is actually the old username that tied to my old hosting account you need to change to the new username for this new hosting account which for me is actually called chonyo so i just change this donor to chonyo check again here there's another one chonyo so there's totally two 
then click on the go button to make the changes okay so that's all you need to do for the database go back to the step again you already finished step number five create the database file and upload the database file uh, one more step we need to change the database name and user this uh, three database name user id and password to the wp config file so that the new website now is having the new username and password so we go back to this uh, the file just now we download the wp config file you can see the this is the old database name so i just copy this new database name right click copy and put put it into the wp config file database name paste and the database user id come here this is the database user id right click copy come here change the user id make sure everything is inside the single code you must have the single code don't remove the single code next one is the password copy the password right click copy and put the password here inside the single code paste and save the file save this file save go back to the C panel we'll close this one go back to your C panel the new hosting account C panel and upload the WP config file so I just go to the files again the file manager the same URL so I upload the file just now I just made the changes for the username and password I browse for the files this is the file just now we made the changes open so it will ask you whether you want to override the file let's say yes okay so this is completed upload go back to the step again you have actually completed set out everything from the old hosting account to the new hosting account the final step is to change the domain name server to your new hosting server name server this is the final step depend on which uh, domain name register you are using so you need to log into your domain name register and change the name server pointing to the new hosting server we go back again to the website before you do the domain name server uh, changes I will advise you to come to this website networktools.com networktools.com so you type in your domain name just now you do a transfer socialmediabargain.com you click go scroll down so you can see this is the IP address and this is the current domain name server which is pointing to my old hostgator account so which is correct because I not yet changed it to the new name server so the final step step number six is to change it to the new domain name server so I will log into my domain name registrar I'm using Namecheat depending on which domain name registrar you use to register your domain you just need to log into your domain name registrar after you log into your domain name registrar look for your domain name and look for a menu called domain name server setup and change it to your new hosting server domain name server so this is my original old hosting server so you go back to this website you can see actually it's the same ns2203 so I just changed to a new my new server name servers which is uh, after that create the save changes 
that's all you need to do. You just need to wait for a few minutes for the do, uh, this uh, domain name to re refresh. After 10 minutes, you go back to the Network Tools website and you check again, then you will see it will be pointing to the new uh, name server already. That's all, uh, that's all for setting out the WordPress website from one hosting server to another hosting server.